So in my Honors English 9 class, we are finishing the year with this book, The Last Lecture by Randy Pouch. Um, it's a work of nonfiction. And so one of the purposes of the assignment is to dig into nonfiction and to be able to make connections to our lives. Randy Pouch was a professor at Carnegie Mellon University who um, died of pancreatic cancer. And he gave a last lecture at Carnegie Mellon. And um, his purpose was he wanted to leave a legacy for his children and his wife. And so, in addition to reading the book and looking at structure for nonfiction, um, I like to use this time of the year for students to really do what an author suggests. And so we've been working on personal mission statements and now we've boiled that down into their life as a sentence. And the assignment was, think about three to five people that matter the most in your life, right? And what would you want them to say about you? What is your one sentence? Because we know if we pick too many things to do, we'll never get it done. So this is the one important thing that they would like to get done in their lives. She stays positive and always strives for the best. He tries to make other people laugh as much as possible while longer staying healthy. A funny guy who just wants everyone to laugh and be happy. She always found the positive in life. He always did his best to try to make people's lives better. Uh, by solving problems and he spent his entire life searching for fun, humor, and friendship. No matter what was on her mind, she always had a smile on her face. He wants to encourage and empower others to change their lives for something that will not only benefit them, but others as well. She was someone who wore her heart on her sleeve. He was dedicated and was willing to do anything to succeed. In his life, he inspired others to achieve their dreams. She never gave up on her passions and always tried to have fun, no matter how many times she was trampled. The mom and dad he loves most who have taught him how to be successful in his future career. My sentence in Haitian Creole is Sase Anjou. And in English, that means this is the day. And I claimed this as my sentence probably four or five years ago after I visited Haiti and um, it is a reminder to me every day. It's not the words, this is the day, but everything else I connect that to, which is that I might only have today. I might only have this moment. And so I want to make people feel valued and loved. And so this is my, my sentence, my permanent reminder. I'm very, very proud of my students for the work that they've done. One, it's very difficult to articulate your values and to think about positive things about yourself. We all know that thinking of the negative is most difficult. So they had to identify that first. Um, and then to sort of pronounce that sentence to the world, that this is how they would like to be remembered. I think that a lot of us don't think about that until it's too late or almost too late and so they're doing the hard work of being good people right now. I'm just I'm really proud of them and I'm very lucky that I get to spend my days with them.